Pollyanna Viana has had a rocky road in the UFC so far. From devastating losing streaks to bringing her career back to life with sensational performances. We're going to be covering how the native Brazilian has had one of the most unpredictable careers in the UFC and how good she really is. You're going to want to make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out how Pollyanna was involved in an entanglement and a feud with the very controversial number two ranked UFC welterweight Colby Covington. So make sure you stay tuned. Poliana Dama de Ferro Viana Mota is a Brazilian born MMA fighter who started her journey in professional mixed martial arts shortly after taking up Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in 2013. At the age of 21, she fought her debut, going on to win less than two minutes into the first round by a TKO from Dr. Stoppage which would foreshadow a theme that would be all too common later on in her career. After three more stoppage finishes fighting for local Brazilian promotions, she would unfortunately take her first loss as a professional fighter not long after. The loss would be to Alini Satomaya by a unanimous decision at Real Fight 12 in San Jose, Brazil. The loss she faced would be her last for another four years as after moving up to flyweight and a dominant win against Giselle Campos by Armbar, she would move back down to strawweight, fighting for the Jungle Fight promotion where she would get her first win in typical Boliana style by submission in the first round against Carol Sequeira. Now with an opportunity to win the vacant strawweight title for the Jungle Fight promotion, a title fight would take place at Rio de Janeiro against Amanda Riba. Poliana would go on to win in incredible fashion, knocking out Amanda Ribas less than halfway into the first round. And after winning the title in dominant fashion, she continued her streak, defending her title only once and by armbar in the first round before moving to another promotion. Her next win in the 47th Watch Out Combat Show would also be by, you guessed it, an armbar in the first round, landing her a UFC debut at UFC fight night in Belém, Brazil. Unsurprisingly, Poliana, who was on a roll, would also win her debut against Maya Stevenson by a submission of rear naked choke almost four minutes into the first round, proving herself worthy on the biggest stage of her career yet. But despite the success she had in her UFC debut, her following bouts were about to turn the tide of her career. Following her debut, her opponent, JJ Aldridge, would hand her her first loss into the UFC only two fights in by unanimous decision. And her following fight against Hannah Cyphers would go the same way as her previous, except this time losing by a split decision. Now, with two losses in a row, the pressure was on for Poliana and she made the bold choice to move up a weight class to fight Veronica Macedo at flyweight. But despite her bravery, this decision would initially prove unwise as Pollyanna would get a taste of her own medicine, being defeated by a submission from Amba early on in the first round and making it her third loss in a row. Now one for three in the UFC, Pollyanna needed to get some wins under her belt, so her next belt against Emily Whitmire would be a fight she couldn't afford to lose. And doing what she did best, less than two minutes into the first round, Poliana would defeat Whitmire by Armbar to get her career back on track and regain the momentum she lost following her previous performances. After her much needed win, she had an opportunity to prove herself further against Mallory Martin at UFC 258 and prove herself she did. As usual in the first round, Poliana would get the win by an Armbar submission and also win a performance of the night bonus for her biggest win on the biggest stage yet. After two dominant wins, she had an opportunity to prove herself against a tough opponent in Tabitha Ritchie, which would be her toughest test yet. And unfortunately, when faced with Richie's wrestling and ground control ability, Poliana would go on to lose by a unanimous decision after three rounds. Poliana's most recent fight, which took place on the 5th of November 2022, following her loss, would be true to her earliest form, as for the first time since her title fight for Jungle Promotion, she would win by KO less than a minute into the first round against the Korean-American Jin Yu Frey. This spectacular win shows the promise Poliana has in her future as a mixed martial artist as she received her second performance of the night bonus from the UFC for her incredible win that night and perhaps put on the most dominant win of her career yet. So after this roller coaster of a career Pollyanna has had, how good is she really? We're itching to let you know, but before we do, we hold a monthly shout out on this channel and to be in a chance to win, all you have to do is comment, I subbed in the comments section below and you'll be in a chance with winning. 
don't miss out. Poliana Viana, despite having very dominant wins and not so dominant losses, has yet to prove herself against the highest level opponents the UFC has to offer. Her incredible grappling skills and propensity to finish fights early hasn't translated well with tougher opponents. So it's only fair to say that while she does have an incredible ability and deserves to be on the UFC roster, she has yet to prove herself as one of the best in the world in what she does. So the jury's out on what we could see in the future from Pollyanna. So what does Pollyanna Viana have to do with Colby Covington? Well, as it appears, the two were in some sort of a relationship while both training partners. And like many others who were once close with Colby, the two have since shared animosity for each other after parting ways. The controversy lies in the fact that while Pollyanna was in a relationship, Colby claimed to have been sleeping with her and alluded to him not taking the Leon Edwards fight due to rather staying in bed with her. For a long time, Pollyanna ignored the allegations. However, recently she responded to a tweet exposing Covington by by alleging that he would get upset at her if she didn't perform strange sexual acts he was into. This drama has put the most limelight on Pollyanna's career so far, so despite the personal invasion of the drama, it could be viewed as an opportunity for Pollyanna to gain more traction, which is perhaps why she chose to respond unprovoked recently. As usual, let us know your thoughts on Pollyanna's Viana's career and the recent controversy in the comments below. Goodbye, and we'll see you next time.